Hello Cancer, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and it will be from the 19th to the 25th of April 2021. Let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching energy for the week. So starting with the Angel Answer Cards. What do we have for Cancer please? Angels, Spirits Guide, Message for Cancer. I'm also using the Radiant Wise Spirit to clarify. This is the Rider Waite deck. What do we have for Cancer, please, angels? Oh, so I'm going to just take the one that's turned up, which is there's something better. Okay. What do we have for Cancer? Thank you. Angels, Spirits, Guides, message for our lovely Cancerians. Thank you. 19th to the 25th of April, 2021. So, you know, by now I'm going to pull three cards, then we'll clarify, go deeper into the message, Cancer, and it won't resonate with everybody. So just take what resonates with you. Okay. What do we have for Cancer, please? Thank you. For the week, Six of Cups in the challenge position. Two of Wands, Six of Swords. Let's clarify, go deeper into the message for Cancer. Interestingly enough, there you are with the Nine of Pentacles. It feels uh, feeling pretty good with that Nine of Pentacles, I have to say. It's a good feeling card. Very good in terms of money as well. What do we have for Cancer, please? No, no, not falling on the table. What do we have for Cancer, please? Angel Spirits Guides. 19th to the 25th of April 2021. Can we clarify the cards on the table for Cancer? Thank you. So we have the Ten of Cups. Temperance clarifies the Two of Wands and the Page of Cups clarifies the Six of Swords. Bottom of the deck we have the Lovers. It's interesting. I'm going to clarify there's something better. What's better? Let's clarify there's something better for Cancer. Queen of Wands. So let's clarify that. Let's pull one more for that card. Decisive action. Three of Wands. I mean, you know, Queen of Wands is an Aries, so you could be dealing with an Aries for some of you, male or female energy. There's something better on the horizon coming your way. Uh, something is coming towards you and it feels good. Uh, for some of you, it feels to do with love, romance, relationships. And I'm definitely getting new love with this energy. It feels to do with more to do with new love, I can say. Um, you know, the Queen of Wands is somebody who is future focused. She, she, she intuitively takes action when she knows the time is right to act. Um, for some of you, you might be dealing with an Aries or a fire sign, a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, or it can just be somebody who has the energy of these, this, this person so confident outgoing successful um action orientated larger than life you know magnetic queen of wands is very very magnetic but it definitely feels in this energy that if you have been taking action towards 
you know, manifesting a new path, a new life for yourself, a new, uh, you know, future. There's definitely something good coming your way. It's not quite there yet. Uh, it's coming your way. It's not quite there yet with the Three of Wands, but it's coming. This is your ships are coming in. There's something coming towards you that's good. It promises growth and the success. So it feels for some of you, something is on the horizon. There's the promise of something on the horizon coming your way. Uh, and it, it comes in the challenge position when you've been challenged. And I'm getting, generally the Six of Cups, when it's in the challenge position, can be about moving on from the past. And we've got the Ten of Cups, which is generally marriage, long-term relationship, blissful relationship. Yeah, because, you know, sometimes this can be somebody from the past. It could be a past partner, a long-term partner, somebody you could have been married to or had a long-term commitment with, or happy ones. But generally, these talk about disharmony in the challenge position. So it, it feels in this situation, I'm going to clarify that Ten of Cups. Well, yeah, I don't really have to. I've got the devil at the bottom of this deck. Um, it, it feels in this situation there was some level of disharmony here. Uh, a relationship that just didn't feel worked out. And it, it feels in this situation it's been difficult to move on from the past cancer. However, the cards are saying, certainly the advice from Spirit is saying, uh, there could be some choices or decisions that you're making now about your future. But you can also anticipate something coming your way. Yeah, I mean, yeah, the, the Eight of Swords, negative thinking. Uh, it feels holding on to negative thoughts. And it's to do with this Ten of Cups. It feels like something ended. And really, you found it difficult to move on from it. However, Temperance is about adapting, moving forward, finding the way through. Um, a situation, you know, finding your flow again and that uh, and restoring balance. And that's definitely what I'm feeling here. That's the advice from spirit, because it feels for some of you, the two of, two of ones before the three of ones, you know, this is somebody who is ready to step into the unknown. They can anticipate uh, new things coming their way. They're ready for the new experience. They're ready for the new journey. It's a sense of, of anticipation of what's ahead. It's a sense of I'm ready to go for what I want. I'm ready to choose my path. It just feels really beautiful. And that's very much what the, the advice from spirit is. The ones are all about power, action, potential, growth. So definitely being ready for new growth now. Um, definitely being ready for new success stories. It feels like you're releasing from something that has confined you, that has had its that's held on to you for a period of time it's to do with the past cancer but I'm definitely getting this energy of you're just finding the way to move forward and you're ready for the unknown you're ready to step into that unknown territory because for some of you what's coming your way what is coming your way well we've got a message of love And that's reinforced by the lovers, which is a harmonious union. Uh, these two people, they have common values where it counts. The characters might be a little bit different. Sometimes there's a little bit of a friendly friction with the lovers card, but they fit together perfectly. It's almost kind of like, you know, your imperfections together are perfect, you know, for each other. So it definitely feels in this situation there is a new union coming your way. There is new love coming your way. And I'm definitely getting the energy of that's what you're heading towards. You know, the six of waters, sorry, six of waters, six of swords is moving from those choppy times, choppy waters to calmer waters. The best is yet to come. Uh, but you're heading in the right direction finally. I like the flow energies of this water. I'm finding my flow. Uh, I'm releasing Aquarian energy, liberation release uh, from what's gone here. And I'm definitely feeling that with this. 
and I'm opening up to new experiences. Somebody might take you a little bit by surprise here, Cancer. You know, with the Six of Swords, you're not at that end game yet, but I'm feeling there may well be a new connection that you're making, potentially this week for some of you, or certainly in the near future, that is, that is where you want to move to, you know? That's where the hope is. Um, that's where the karma waters are. That's where the best is to come. So I'm definitely getting this energy. Somebody might take you a little bit by surprise this week. And you're definitely being told there's something better because I'm definitely feeling in this energy there is. Yeah, it feels something beautiful is coming your way. Lovely energy, Cancer, I have to say. So let's, oh, interestingly enough, let me pull the right cards. So let's use the fairy cards. What do we have as a final message? Oh my goodness, Cancer. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I've, got, I've got this, honestly. Scarily accurate, you know, transformation. I'll read this out to you. The fairy tells you to surrender to a transformation in your life that's happening for your highest good. Embrace your transformation. The best is yet to come. Oh my goodness. I literally just said that to you. Um, inspiration. Be prepared as you'll soon receive a visit from the fairy of inspiration. Come dusk or dawn, she can call at any time. I can't believe that card came out. Really, you know... That is definitely the message for some of you, and it's what I was feeling anyway. The absolute best is yet to come. So find your flow, anticipate, make choices about your future now. Be ready to step into the unknown. I'm feeling an energy of somebody might take you a little bit by surprise, but it's in a nice way. And that is absolutely where you want to head, you know, towards them, because I'm definitely feeling a powerful union form in here. <gasps> Exciting! So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.